Good morning, and, well, and, and welcome, as we and you at home, each of us God's child, unite our hearts and voices in the praise of the Father, by the Son, with and through us, his mystical body, the Church. Today we celebrate the Blessed Mother being conceived without sin, preserved from the first moment of her existence as part of God's plan for our salvation. The presider at this Mass is Father Hallahan, assisted by Deacon Bowie. Please stand for the entrance antiphon. I rejoice heartedly in the Lord, in my God is the joy of my soul, for he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in the mantle of justice, like a bride adorned with her, with her jewels. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the community of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. I would like to uh, welcome uh, Karen Panikowski Clark, who is a friend of mine from many years ago, who uh, teaches in a Catholic school uh, in or outside of San Diego, and whose children may be joining us today. As we celebrate the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, we celebrate the strength and the fierceness of uh, Mary's faith. As we prepare ourselves to celebrate her life, let us call to mind our sins and be mindful of the Lord's mercy. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You beckon us to eternal life through the power of the Holy Spirit, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to, to God, God in the, in the highest. highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession, we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of, the, of Genesis. After the man, Adam, 
had eaten of the tree, the Lord God called to the man and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid, because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from, from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman who you put there with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly you shall, shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve, because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Sing to the Lord for a, a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy army. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. Sing, Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song. Sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous deeds. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before him. In love he, de he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favour of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. In him we are also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of one who has accomplished all things according to his attention of his will so that we might exist in the praise of his glory. We who first hoped in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. <clears throat> the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace. The Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, 
you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David, his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom, there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, how can this be, since I have no relations to, with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who was called barren. For nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> During Advent and the Easter season, we often hear from the Gospel of Luke. We believe that Luke was uh, written uh, 50 or more years after Jesus' death and resurrection. When we realize that the Gospel was written so many years later than the actual people and events, we may ask ourselves, how did they get it right 50-some years later? One of the ways that they communicated the faith in the early church was by telling the story. Telling the story of Mary. Telling the story of Joseph. Telling the story of Jesus, the story of his apostles, the story of the early church. And one of the reasons that they weren't concerned about writing these things down is they thought that Jesus would return sooner, so there was no need to write them down. But then as the years went on and on and on, they began, it, they began to realize it would be best to record these sacred stories. Today we hear the story of Mary and how God comes to her by way of the angel and God invites her to participate in salvation history. We see that Mary is a very young girl, a young maiden, but we know that she has an awareness of God in her life. She has an awareness of God within herself. And as she converses with the angel, her heart opens up to the angel's message and she receives God's word within her and says that she will participate in this mission of God bringing his love to the world and the person of Jesus. It's important for us to realize as we reflect over this story today, how important our own stories of faith are. Our story from the time that we were raised by our parents to the times that we go through high school, college, adult, marriage, our faith stories are sacred in the eyes of God. And sometimes in our st stories, like Mary, we experience hardship. Mary seeing the people at odds with her son, Mary seeing her son crucified, 
We often refer to her as our mother of sorrows. We too experience heartache and sorrows within our own lives, and they are all part of our sacred story. So as we celebrate Mary today, her fidelity to God, her openness to God's mission in her life, let us take a look at our own faith stories and realize that our stories are sacred, our stories are holy. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by, by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. <clears throat> God, we thank you for gathering us this morning. We ask that you listen to our petitions. For all clergy and religious who have consecrated their lives to Christ, may God bless them and help them bear much fruit in their service of the kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in positions of authority, may the Lord guide them in governing with humility and justice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us in this faith community, may the eradication of the sin of racism bring, uh, reflect healing and peace, which should mark our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community, may the grace of the Holy Spirit continue to help us to say yes to God's plan for our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, May they enter fully into God's loving and eternal presence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Julie Carney and the Carney and Tagliaterra families for whom this Mass is being offered. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, we thank you for listening to our prayers. We ask that you grant all these things through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the, the Lord accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our for good and good of all his holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and grant that, as we profess her, on account of your prevenient grace, to be untouched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you preserved the most blessed Virgin Mary from all stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, Savior of the world, world. For, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray the partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Nelson, our Bishop, and all the clergy, the religious, and all of God's people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and performed by God's word, let us pray together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every <clears throat> evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of our church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, we take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <clears throat>
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which in a singular way you preserved Blessed Mary and her Immaculate Conception through Christ our Lord. Amen. Again, thank you all for uh, coming out today. It's always wonderful to uh, see you here. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God. Have a nice day.